When we start season two, we see the aftermath, the chaos. There was such a cost to that moment of complete honesty. Alex, just keep your phone on. I'll call you. Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon are back as Alex and Bradley on the morning show for season two. I'm Max and this is Flip Your Wig. I hope you're well. Get ready to hear from the awesome cast and what you can expect for this season. But first, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on. This is a channel that we support film, TV, music, creative people that are doing incredible things. In this season, our characters are searching for who they are and trying to get through it in a world that's transitioning very quickly. The morning show is in a place of real flux. I mean, Alex Levy has left the show and of course the fallout from Mitch Kessler having left the show is still resonating. Starring Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon, the morning show is outstanding, guys. It's topical, it's thought-provoking, with a real insight into what makes a live TV show and the dysfunctional people behind it. These guys, they're complex, they're ambitious, they're insecure, and constantly kept on their toes to keep their powerful jobs. You know, things are gonna have to be different if we're gonna resume this quote-unquote partnership. I was the one who was exposing the network, and I decided to include you. Bradley steps into a position where she's trying to play the game, she's trying to get ahead. Bradley becomes the number one lead anchor. Whenever people think about the morning show, I want them to think of me. And she thinks she's in control. Laura Peterson comes up to mentor Bradley Jackson. I don't think they're using you in the right way. They're bigger than that. When Bradley meets her, it's just hero worship. There's just this larger than life character. The energy between Reese's character and my character is really interesting to watch because you really see Reese's character grow just by being in Laura's orbit. The star studied returning cast also includes Steve Carell, Billy Crudup, Mark Duplass. Plus, for season two, we get some new characters including Greta Lee, Estella Back, a tech world badass, tough talking feminist who has joined the UBA executive team plus Emmy Award winner Holland Taylor as Sybil Richards she's so good every time she's on screen she is the chairwoman of the UBA board and Juliana Margulies as Laura Peterson another hot TV host who takes no crap and decides to mentor Bradley played by Reese Witherspoon but their relationship blossoms into a lot more UBA is a changed environment. It's noticeably more diverse, young, there are more women. We are no longer running the show from the perspective of the white male patriarchy. We have moved on. I have just finished the whole of season two and what a roller coaster of emotions. No spoilers, but teasers are definitely coming your way. In this season, they explore racism in the workplace, how it affects certain people, being authentic rather than just faking it, sexism, mental health, stress. One particular character is having a total breakdown. Cancel culture is explored in every possible way, um, all the way down to the person being cancelled and how that affects them. This idea of nobody being all bad or all good is also explored. We are all human and we need help with most things. This plays out in the most gripping storyline between Disgrace, Mitch and Alex. And guys, we deal with the months leading up to the pandemic, how COVID hits America, hits the world, and how all these characters try and continue making this new show whilst they're all having their own emotional self-discovery breakdowns. Everything's different this season. <laughs> In season two, we meet Alex in a very serene place. I think she had to get out of the chaos. Please come back. You become a powerful voice in the rebuilding and the rebranding of a toxic empire that it is gonna rise. There's a tremendous amount of guilt that she's feeling. Her hypocrisy within herself. She sort of became a feminist hero, and I think she has this secret guilt that she isn't. She has this history with Mitch that she's ashamed of. But something about her still needs to feel relevant, and there's obviously still more for her to excavate. The Morning Show season two is on a whole other level to one. I feel like one was just the introduction and just touched on subject matters. This time around, they delve deeply they go to dark places you may feel uncomfortable but afterwards you're going to be in a space of thinking about what you've watched and i think that's a good thing it's powerful um reese is brilliant mark billy karen pittman steve corral but mostly i have to shout out jennifer aniston who truly went to hell and back in season two i'm making a toast these two women they changed the course of human history and we've got them the personal stake that Corey had in season one was winning. He didn't seem concerned about the consequences. You're a dead man, said the corpse. All of a sudden, you're watching Pinocchio become a real boy. He has to manage real feelings. This is a battle for the soul of the universe. 
the show brings up so many great talking points about the world and people being human. People relate to shows where human beings ask the deeper question. A show and a network allowed the worst behavior to be permissible. Does that line up with your experience? I think some people are ready to talk. Some people are not ready for that. It's okay to be anywhere you want on that spectrum, but that's going to be tested. There is a pattern of behavior around here that disadvantages the people of color. We all develop a different relationship with America, and I think that there are a lot of people who are really re-evaluating their place. It's been brought to my attention that for me to use that term might be considered uh, insensitive. So much of this show is showing these real-world relationships unfold in real time. And it just allows the audience to organically go on this journey to answer some pretty complicated questions. You mean something, Alex, you do. As a leader, as a feminist, and I want you to be these things. What you thought was going to happen at the beginning of season two, all of a sudden there's these detours that you didn't think about along the way. We have more incredible storylines, much bigger and much more impactful than you could ever imagine. Camera two, get the both of them, two shot. Onward and upward. Right, The Morning Show is out September the 17th on Apple TV+. Plus. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Please do tell me what you think. If you already have checked out season one, how are you feeling about season two? And when you do start watching season two on the 17th, leave a comment and let me know um, if it touched you as much as it has me. Take care. I'll be back soon. Bye.